The first thing you have to remember about Lincoln in the election of 1860 is that he had basically no support in most of the South. I mean, the Republican Party was a northern sectional party devoted to preventing the further westward expansion of slavery. It barely existed in the South. The Lincoln did get some votes in what they call the border or the upper South, some of the slave states like uh, Maryland, Kentucky. Missouri, but basically in most of the South, uh, the Republicans didn't exist. And most Southern whites felt that the Republican Party, in one way or another, was a pretty serious threat to their way of life, to the institution of slavery. Lincoln was not an abolitionist by any means, and he was committed to stopping slavery's expansion. But many, many white Southerners thought that if slavery was confined and unable to expand, it would eventually die, or certainly the South would lose the political power it had been able to exercise in the country ever since the adoption of the Constitution. Nearly every president from Washington onward was either a slave owner or a northerner very closely tied into the South. Lincoln's election really shifted the balance of power in the country in, in that way in ways that many in the South felt was very threatening to them.